Welcome to this Volante tutorial. My name is Violet. Today we are walking you through Users and Securities. Users and Securities is where we add or edit staff to our Volante system, back office, terminal, or otherwise. When we click on the back office home screen button, Users and Securities, we enter this function. A quick tour of our layout. This section always defaults to the Users panel, so you will see everybody relevant to the back office your location is tied to. This could mean that there are people who show up on your list here who belong at other locations. Please do not delete them. When we click on a name, information will populate as to the person's credentials and job type. If you are connected to an enterprise, you will also have head office users in your back office. They are imported automatically and are denoted by a red HO like this, and so you can't manipulate them at all. Here's an example. If I click Edit, you'll see this pop-up appear, which says Head Office Employees cannot be modified on local stores. Click OK. All of our action buttons are along the top. We have New, Edit, and Delete. When I select on this user, you'll see that I can't get Click Happy and change anything until I use my Edit button here. You'll notice that the text turns from grey to black, and I can manipulate any of the fields, add or remove job types. Once I click Edit, the text turns from grey to black, and now I can come in and manipulate any of these fields. Always remember to click Save. To add a new user, click New. Add a first name and a last name. For our user ID, we have two use cases. Cashiers will swipe a card or other device, such as a fob. The second use case is where cashiers will key in a number. For the first use case, if you will be using a card swipe to get into the POS, please make sure to use the first and last name to force a card swipe, then enter the proper card number. The second use case, if you will be allowing your cashiers to enter a number manually to enter the POS, then enter the user ID as a number. Please note that no two users can share the same number. Please make sure to provide a unique set of digits for each of your users. To enter the card swipe, Either swipe the card and it will populate this field, or type in the eight unique digits printed on the card itself. Please note, this too must be a unique value. Do not use the same card for multiple users. Back office password is only used if back office access is needed. However, you still must assign something to this field. If a user does require the back office access, please communicate this password to the person. Otherwise, you may enter any combination of eight letters and numbers here. Now we need to assign a job type. Click Add Job Type. Job types define the amount of access this person has in Volante. Now let's explore the different kinds of job types. Volante typically uses three standard job types. The first is a back office administrative cashier. These are people who need access to this back office environment typically directors, senior managers, or anyone who needs back office access. This includes work being done to set up reports to create reporting filters, which will then be added to web reporting, or anyone who needs to manage users, as we're learning about now, specifically through the back office to add, delete, or retrieve deleted users, or anyone who needs to make menu changes or anyone who needs to manually manage the customer database. Our second type of users are our most popular job type. These are cashiers. These are the folks who serve your clients directly. They run transactions on the POS terminals. Ultimately, they have the least amount of access and permissions. For instance, they cannot open their cash drawer without a sale or void items. So they will need someone on the floor to help them with this. Which brings us to our final user type, POS Administrative Cashier. These are your supervisors or managers on the service floor. They will help your cashiers to process voids or open the cash drawer without a sale. They will also have permission to manage users directly at the POS. Direction on how to add people to the POS occurs at our Go Live on-site demonstrations. This feature will be helpful if a person comes to you five minutes before opening and you don't have time to come into the back office to edit them. POS administrative cashiers can add on-the-go users quickly from the POS machine. It is important to note, however, if a user is deleted from the POS, they may only be brought back from this back office here 
by a back office administrative cashier. Let's select cashier today. Let's click save. You'll see Saeed from Volante as a new user appear at the bottom of our system users tab. This brings us to our next section, how to delete and reactivate users who are in our deleted users tab. Follow these steps if you need to remove somebody you have just terminated or have seasonal staff going back to school. For anyone who requires a card suspension of any type, use this for anyone who requires a card suspension of any type. This function does not permanently delete users. It simply moves the user to the deleted users tab here. This means they're never permanently gone. This is necessary for records and reporting. We're good to quickly reactivate any seasonal or student employees who come and go. To delete a user means that this person can no longer log into the POS using their number or card swipe, yet their historical data is in the system for reporting and auditing purposes. To begin, select a name on the system users panel. Now click delete. This will prompt you for the user ID. You can scooch down this window to then see the user ID beneath. I will now type in the username. Click OK. This person has now vanished from the system's user tab. They will now appear in the deleted users tab. When I scroll down, I now see that Saeed from Volante is in our deleted users tab. To reactivate this user, Select the user from this left-hand side pane and click the Undelete button. A pop-up will appear asking you to confirm if you wish to undelete this user. Click Yes. This person will now vanish from the Deleted Users tab and reappear under our User Setup System Users tab at the bottom. And now we see Saeed from Volante here. Please remember, a data sync must occur each time you add and delete or change users before they will be able to properly access the system or be restricted from it. If you have questions, please reach out to support at volantesystems.com. Thank you and have a great day.